Hi, in this video, we're going to go over if statements in C++. And so um, these are actually things that we use every day, uh, and they're common. Uh, you know, if my phone is ringing, I'm going to answer it. Or if my somebody's at my door, you know, I'm going to answer it. So we have a condition, which is if someone is at the door, and then we have the, um, the execution, then I'm going to answer it. And so the computer is the same way. So I've just created a form with a button and a label and a, a close button. And let's go ahead and type this out. So um, we'll make an if statement. And if I hit a space, it's gonna do code complete. I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. Let's go ahead and erase this and just do it by hand. So we're gonna have a parenthesis and a parenthesis. And this is our, this is our test condition. And then we're gonna have a body, which is a bracket and a bracket. And um, this is if the condition, right now we're, we're checking for true, um, then do this. And so this is where our code's gonna go. So we could say, you know, if two is greater than one, then what do we wanna do? Let's just update our label like we've been doing. Label one, and we're gonna update the text and we'll make that equal to true. So if two is greater than one, then this is true. So let's go ahead and run this. Takes a second. There we go, so this is true. Um, so if two is greater than one, then uh, put out a, make, make our, our label text true. Now we can also do if, uh, uh, let's make this one. If one is greater than or equal to one, um, so we, we can add in the check for equal and to see if it's greater all within one statement so you don't have to break this apart. Um, and obviously here, uh, one is equal to one, so that meets that condition of being greater than or equal to one. There we go. Um, and we can do uh, less than also. Now, um, another thing that you typically do is check for equality. So here we're doing less than or equal. What if we just wanted to test if they were equal? You know, this would be the common, this is this would be what you'd think it would, you'd type in there, but this is actually not a test for equality. It doesn't check to see if they're equal. Um, it actually, uh, it's an assignment. So if we created a variable here, let's make an integer, and let's say x, well, let's just call it a. a is equal to, six. In this scenario, what happens is it takes the six and it assigns it to the variable a. So this is an assignment. And we'll go ahead and just do another one here. Three. And so that's what's going on here. This would be an assignment. Now you, you notice we did um, greater than and less than. And so there are actually two statements right here. And we're going to do that for the test as well. So if we wanted to test for equality, then we can say if A is equal to B, um, then let's write out our text here. So let's see what happens when we do this. Nothing happens because they're not equal. Um, and if we want to say, all right, if A is not equal to B, then we actually use an exclamation point and the equal sign, and this is not equal. So if A does not equal B, then tell us true. And we could change our text to say, you know what, these, you know, they're not equal. Um, but I'm just showing you these conditions here. Now, what if we wanted to say, all right, if A is equal to B, then let's say that um, uh, they're equal. And if uh, they're not equal, then let's say that they're not equal, right? So we need to do something if it's true, and we need to do something if it's false. So one way to do this would to be type another if statement. So we could say if A, oh, and this has added something for me. If A does not equal B, then label one text uh, uh, not equal. Let's do this. Wrong one, there we go. Let's 
if A is not equal to B, oh, capital B, case sensitive. All right, and I put C. Let's try this one more time. So when we execute this, there we go. So now they're not equal. But what we've done is we've created multiple if statements, which is easy to do. Um, we have one condition for if they're true, one if they're not, if they're false. But the thing is, for a computer, when uh, when you give it decision, it has to um, send, uh, spend CPU cycles, right, calculating if it's true or not. Now, in this statement, what we know for a fact that is that if they're true, um, then we can do this. If it's not true, we know automatically that it's not true. So we really don't need to do another calculation. So if we're trying to speed up our code, we can actually just write else. Um, so in this statement, if A is equal to B, right, do this. If it's not, we don't need to check for it because we know it's false. And we can just put this in here. So let's run this. There we go, not equal. So it does the same thing. The difference is the computer doesn't have to calculate this because it's already calculated up here. It just makes it a little bit faster. So the next thing that we want to do is, is um, we want to introduce an, another symbol, and it's called the modulus. Big word. All this means is this is the modulus symbol, and all it means is um, is there a remainder? So we could say. Now let's say that we want to see if this is an even or odd number. There we go. All right, so let's say, and to check if something is even or odd, you can divide it by two. Um, so if we divided uh, six by two and there's no remainder, then this is an even number. And if there is a remainder, then we know it's an odd number. Because if A were seven, you divide that by two, there's gonna be a remainder, so we know it's odd. Um, now, the way we do this is we say um, A modulus, which is divided by B with the remainder, if that is equal to zero, then um, it's an even number, right? So if A divided by B, if, there's no, if the remainder equals zero, then it's even, otherwise it's odd. Let's do this. There we go, it's an even number. And if we change this to seven, then it'll come back odd. There's our odd number. Now I do wanna point out that you can put um, math in here as well. So these are simple tests, but we could say, you know, if A divided by, let's say if five divided by three is, um, is equal to, you know, nine, whatever this is, we can put out math formulas and all kinds of things inside these parentheses, these blue parentheses right here. And it will actually, in this case, it actually does the calculation and then does the test. So we can make these uh, pretty, pretty complex here. We'll go ahead and run this just so you can see it. And there we go. So um, if statements, and else statements, and what we'll do is we'll put up on the, um, the website the code, so if you just uh, need to look it up for reference, we'll have it on there. So take care, and we'll see you in the next video.